It was a sunny day in Louisville, Kentucky, and 12-year-old Cassius Clay was riding his new red and white twin bicycle with his friends. He had saved up for months to buy it, and he was proud of his shiny new possession. He decided to stop by the Columbia Auditorium, where a bazaar was being held, and parked his bike outside. He went inside to check out the stalls and have some fun. When he came back out, he was shocked to find that his bike was gone. He looked around frantically, hoping to spot the thief, but there was no sign of him. He felt angry and helpless, and tears welled up in his eyes. He ran to a nearby policeman and told him what had happened. The policeman was Joe Martin, a white officer who also ran a boxing gym at the basement of the auditorium. He saw the distress on the boy's face and tried to calm him down. He asked him if he knew how to fight. The boy said no, but he wanted to learn. He wanted to beat up whoever stole his bike. Martin told him that he could teach him how to box, but he had to follow some rules. He had to train hard, stay out of trouble, and respect his opponents. He invited him to come to his gym and see if he liked it. The boy agreed and followed Martin to the gym. There, he saw other boys his age sparring in the ring, punching bags, skipping ropes, and doing push-ups. He felt a surge of excitement and curiosity. He wanted to be like them. He wanted to be a boxer. That day marked the beginning of Cassius Clay's boxing journey, which would eventually lead him to become Muhammad Ali, one of the greatest heavyweight champions of all time. Under Martin's guidance, he learned the basics of boxing and developed his speed, agility, and confidence. He also discovered his natural talent for trash-talking and entertaining the crowd. He soon started competing in amateur tournaments and winning most of them. He won the Golden Gloves title for novices in 1956 and for open class in 1959. He also won the national AEA title for light heavyweight in 1959 and 1960. In 1960, he qualified for the U.S. Olympic team and traveled to Rome, Italy, where he won the gold medal in the light heavyweight division. He turned professional later that year and began his remarkable career that would span over two decades. He changed his name to Muhammad Ali after joining the Nation of Islam in 1964. He refused to be drafted into the Vietnam War in 1967 and was stripped of his titles and banned from boxing for three years. He returned to the ring in 1970 and reclaimed his titles by defeating Joe Frazier and George Foreman in epic fights. Muhammad Ali is widely regarded as one of the most influential sports figures of the 20th century and a symbol of courage, conviction, and charisma. His story began with a stolen bicycle that led him to a police officer who was also a boxing coach.